happen to me. Today we're doing rapid response team training. Call 911 and get the patient's medical record. And that's when we bring in the rapid response team providers and have them practice how to work effectively as a team in the context of a crisis or emergency response. Do you know what happened? No, no, I don't know what happened. We try to make it as relevant to healthcare professionals that are participating so that it makes sense for them. We're gonna talk about something called dynamic decision making. The program is two different components. The first is a didactic session. We're going to really delve into these resource utilization situational awareness where we go over teamwork competencies related to communication, uh, team structure, role designation. The last part is actually going into the clinical setting, running simulation scenarios there. He is a 52-year-old male who is admitted for COVID-19. You're the rapid response team that gets called because he got lightheaded and had a syncopal event. And we really look at three different components, the, the teamwork, the clinical management, and then the systems response. Your heart rate's a little fast, try to relax. In the restaurant, in the restaurant. The simulation mannequins that we use can speak. I, I just don't feel well. They breathe, they have lung sounds and heart sounds. They also give us, as the instructors, feedback. We can make the patient get better, or we can get, make the patient get worse. That gives that moment-to-moment -moment feedback to the team. So we're gonna put some oxygen on you. We here at the Gordon Center do a lot of team training because we know that in healthcare we operate as teams, but historically everyone trained individually and then was expected to come together and be an effective team. I love this program because in four short hours we can really get a lot of impact. Everybody has a different perspective, so we can see something that somebody else is missing. Some of the things that we could have done was familiarize ourselves with the crash cart. The goal now is to really to try to train everyone across U Health, giving people that opportunity to practice for these events that are really high impact but generally low volume. People get kind of rusty with these skills and so it really just gives them an opportunity to practice. We look at their performance and then give them tips for how they can improve. Was that a fair analysis for you guys? Yeah. Was it useful? We now know that these are skills that can be taught, that can be practiced, and that can be improved. And so our goal is to help create the most effective teams possible within our healthcare system.